happy Monday. Hope you're all well. So sorry I'm jumping on last minute as usual. Uh, I got my hair done today and uh, managed to get in a few clients. And uh, I managed to get in a few clients tonight also. So I'm always jumping on late because I always come in after doing my Reiki clients and then try and get a video in when they're all gone to bed. Um, anyway, I did say yesterday I was going to pop on and do um, a video about um, clearing your energetic field of energy. And when I talk about energy, um, people who come to me for Reiki understand that when I'm uh, acting as a Reiki practitioner or acting as an energy healer, I am actually moving energy from your your auric field or your energy field that's around your body. And I'm moving the negative energy off by um, channeling in golden energy that's coming down through me as the channel it flows down through my crown chakra through the top of my head into my heart space because I'm asking for healing for you. And then it flows down and out my hands and my hands act, act as tools to remove negative energy off your auric field or your energy field around your body when you're on the bed. And my hands sometimes will flap like this around the body, like if you can imagine a candy floss machine collecting negative energy. And as it collects the negative energy, I will dust my hands off a lot in the session to remove it from your body. And when you get up off the bed, you'll feel so much lighter because I've just removed lots of negative energy that you've been storing. And sometimes you can be storing energy from just the day or you can be storing energy for years. And it might be very dense energy and you'll feel so much lighter when you get off the bed. But in a normal everyday sense, the easy way for you to do um, some energy clearing on yourself is with your own intention. So I say to all of my clients that come, their, for, uh, their little tools and their spiritual toolbox as such is for them to ground their energy, which I always talk about standing out in your garden at the back, going to the beach, getting the negative energy that's in your body that's not serving it. You intentionally say, I want it gone and it will flow out your hands and it'll flow down and out your feet. That's where negative energy goes. So that's why tree huggers uh, hug trees because the energy flows, negative energy, emotional energy from the heart runs down from the uh, meridian lines and down and into the fingertips. And then when you hug the tree, the tree transmutes that, en that negative energy because mother earth knows what to do with it and will transmute it very quickly or stand out the back garden on your uh, grass and uh, transmuting it out through your feet or down in the beach is always best because it's lovely water that comes in and washes it away you can also do um this is for your physical body you can do a smudge of your body so this is white californian sage it is very powerful uh the indians would have used it it's it's used for thousands and thousands of years you basically would set it on fire so you literally put it into um uh, a flame like this and then as the smoke starts to come off it, you would then see the smoke like this. You would actually go around your auric field like this and smudge down your body. And it then takes energy off your auric field this way. So you can stand up. I won't do it all, but you basically stand up and you go down your whole outline of your body right away to the tips of your fingers. And especially around your heart, if you've got any energy going on there. And then at the end, you'll see it starts to burn like this. But at the end, you would smudge it out that's why it's called a smudge stick you smudge it out and then you stop the flame from coming so it sort of goes like that right so that's another way of doing it. and you would also do this and use this in your house so any energy that's in your uh sitting room if you've had an argument uh in your house anywhere that has been um energies negative energies or any arguments or anything that's gone on that is negative you would smudge your house and um that's california white sage really really good you can also use them california white sage smells a bit weird i remember years ago when i was going through my healing um way back in the start and i was in my mother's house and my mother thought i was smoking the wacky backy or something because it's a really strong smell of um the sage it has a real small smell of wacky wacky or weed or whatever you want to call it i don't know because i never smoked it but um yeah it has a real weird smell quite a pungent smell and um, not I like it but there's people out there who don't then you could also use this which is um nag champa which comes in sticks like this and that is really good for your house you can just basically like that around your auric field as well but the Californian white sage is always better. This is lovely in your house and it's um, anyone who comes to me for Reiki will know this smell because it's the smell I use. It's a really good um, incense for removing uh, any negative energy and any impurities in the air. 
um also um uh, let's go sorry back to our physical body you go to your physical body that's the smudge for removing uh, negative energy also visualizing yourself putting yourself into a pyramid of golden light or also putting yourself into a bubble of golden light no one else knows that only maybe a clairvoyant who can say oh she's protected or he's protected because you put yourself in this bubble or a, a intention of putting yourself in a pyramid of golden light and that is really good at protecting your energy because you, what you're saying is i'm going to protect my energy field and i'm going to go out into uh, the world today and any negative energy that comes at me from people's telling me their stories or their walls will bounce off that golden light and will uh, retract and go back towards them and you'll stop people coming to you with negative energy i promise you that i always um know when i forgot to put my bubble of light in because i just seem to bring in um all of uh people with their woes and their problems that's my job i know how to do um remove it but there's people out there who don't understand that they um how to protect their energy field so that's um the, the pyramid of light the the um uh, incense the smudge um the what else did i say the grounding and um the other thing was crystals and placing crystals on your body now that's a big huge piece but that's tourmaline that's black tourmaline you can get them in smooth pieces you can place small smooth pieces in your pockets and that will also protect your energetic field your aura um your house exactly the same if i'm doing a house clearing where i go to somebody's house they say oh, i don't really like the energy in that room i'll go into somebody's house and i will bring the smudge i'll bring my crystals i'll bring my sound bowl and i will do a whole process of walking through your house and i'll bring all the crystals and each room i'll place what intuitively i feel from my guides i'll place each um a grid in each of the rooms but I don't really remember when we were small, when it came to New Year's Eve, my mother used to make us go around banging pots in the house, bang, bang, bang pots, and then open the front door and open the back door. And what that was, was the old, probably an old wives thing, but the uh, it was to bang, when you bang a sound, whether it's a singing bowl or whether it's pots or whether it's a bell chimes, um, it can be a bell, it's a sound. And the sound and the intention of that sound is to re re remove negative energy out of the rooms uh, or the house. And then you open the um, the front door, let in the new energy and open the back door and let out the old. So if I'm doing somebody's house clearing, I will do that. I will use um, the sage. I will use my bowl, bang out the energy. And especially any rooms where I feel this dense energy, I will use my bowl, a uh, singing bowl. And I will then uh, place crystals grids in the house to make sure it's protected. And also one of the other very um uh, important things is a Himalayan this is a Himalayan tea light but I have every single room in my house has the Himalayan salt lamps I know people have seen them they're like a globe and I have one behind me here I'm going to try and do it and disconnect Um, but it's a, a beautiful Himalayan I'll put that up in my stories later a Himalayan salt lamp and those are really good for um, any airborne diseases that you have in your house clearing negative energy I have one in every room in my house Um, in, out in my Reiki room I have two and it, it 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 takes negative energy out of the room and it also puts in positive energy so i know when my salt lamp is not on in the house because i i feel the difference of it it's a beautiful glow off it when it's on so it's actually really comforting and calming but it actually has a um uh, has so many benefits anything that's going on in your house is anything like bugs or anything like that it sucks it out of the air and it takes it into the himalayan salt and you'll notice that um it will seep as in when you take the plug out because you plug it in it heats up and it burns off any impurities that's in it but if you don't have it plugged in i always recommend you that you put it in um and plug it in for at least 30 minutes in a day and it heats up when it heats up it heats up any of the water that it collects and it pulls the um that water out of the air and it also releases negative ions which is good and it takes out positive ions and puts the positive ions in uh, to the salt lamp and positive ions aren't good negative ions ions are good um or negative energy it's a, it's the opposite way around negative energy it takes out and it puts positive energy back in 
So Himalayan salt lamps are really good. I have lots of them here. Um, if anybody ever wants them, I have the um, all sizes, uh, two to three kg. They're ranging between 20, 25, 35. And there's big, huge ones, like eight and 10 kgs, big heavy ones. But I would recommend like a two to three or three to five, 25 euro ones in your each of your rooms. And especially they're lovely in the kids' rooms. I would never place a little tea light one in a kid's room because you don't want to put a, a naked flame, obviously in a kid's room. But the little small ones um, are beautiful, lovely glow off them in the nighttime as a nightlight. They're really good. So, um, and crystals. So as I said, crystals, I always talk about um, the crystals being, uh, really important if you can place crystals in a grid in your rooms now I have these pointed crystals I have three of them I have three purple ones but I can't find the other one but these are pointed ones and if you point them into the direction of the in, point them put them in a grid so basically two corners and then in the middle of the room on the bottom here so you actually make a triangular grid and you can place a triangular grid in your house in your house on the outsides of your um uh, house itself or inside each room you can do an actual uh, pyramid grid and that's really good as well you can place them I have loads of these ones there's like um crystal small little ones and you basically place them into the corners of your room and you can place them just um all facing inwards because they talk to each other crystals are really powerful and it doesn't make a difference if they're tiny the energy of the crystal is still the same so it can be big is not better um crystals are really good crystals on your body is really good i always um, recommend you carry a few crystals just intuitively um, pick whatever crystal you feel for the day and place it in your bra, place it in your pockets if you're boys and it will remove any negative energy off your auric field. So, um, and then also remember that when you do that, rinse them off under water every couple of days, rinse off the crystals because the crystal is, is collecting energy. Same for your uh, living rooms, don't forget, or your um, rooms that you put the crystal grid in. Every now and then, take them up, dust them off, rinse them under the top and shine them up and put them back. Uh, really important for your grids in your house. So just a few um, uh, little helpful tips uh, for protecting your um, house and you. And also dust yourself off, you know, get, get used to it every day. Dusting yourself off when you come in from work, when you come in from your day before you get into your bed at night time, dusting your body down, dusting yourself off, letting, um, intentionally telling your aura, you don't want any negative energy on your aura that's not serving you. You want to dust your body off and let it go, transmute it, brush it down to the ground and let it go. And your intention is very powerful. Um, yeah, that's it. I mean, I can talk in depth about crystals and in depth about, um, you know, all of the other things we've talked about tonight. But um, that's a quick uh, 10 minute, no, 12 minute video just to protect your house and you. I hope you uh, have a lovely sleep tonight. I will certainly have a lovely sleep tonight and uh, until tomorrow. Namaste.